ever order a bunch of stuff and you're like, oh my God, what's in the box? That's how I feel right now. What's in the box? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this look using all clean products um, that I purchased at Sephora. So if you'd like to see this video, just keep watching. As I am getting everything out of the box and just looking to see what all is in there, I will let you know that clean at Sephora means the beauty you want minus the ingredients you might not. This seal means formulated without parabens, sulfates, SLS, and SELs, SLES, phthalates, mineral oils, full formaldehyde, and more. Clean makeup is just vibrant pigments and major stain power without made with the ingredients you'll love. All right, so we are first going to start with the Kosas uh, lip oil, wet lip oil gloss. On the box, it says a hybrid lip treatment and gloss that plumps, hydrates, and repairs with a slick of color. So, of course, I got it in clear so that way I can put it on before I put on anything else. I'm just going to put that on. I found the lip oil very soothing. I wouldn't call it um, plumping, but so very hydrating. All right, next we're gonna do the Bite Beauty um, Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. It says, primer that changes everything, neutralize your skin, love your foundation results. I'm going to apply it like a lotion. Hopefully I don't overkill. The primer was very hydrating, which I don't need, but um, definitely not a matte, but it was good. Now I have a set-in powder by Cover FX, and I'm wondering if it's supposed to be no, it doesn't say translucent, but um, since it's so dark, I'm like, okay, maybe I'm hesitant to put it on because I don't want to change the color of the foundation. So because of that, I'm going, hmm, debating if I should apply my, use my Neutrogena to um, set the primer. Let me see how light this is or dark it is. and apply a light hand. <clears throat> so I definitely like the way the setting powder worked as a primer base. Let's take a look back. So that was a Cover X, Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. That's this and it is in the color deep. It's this right here. But we will return to that shortly. And we picked out the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharge Micellar Foundation. This is in the color D175. I'm pretty sure this isn't the darkest, but um, this is the color that was chosen. And it says the skin-like finish you crave, the clean formula you deserve, medium coverage. So this is the color, how it looks on my hand. We'll see how it fares. No, I'm not going to buy any setting spray. I'm just going to use my uh, Sigma F80 Found Flat Kabuki brush to put on the product. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, so here I am just applying the foundation in the beginning with my preliminary findings. So already you can tell this is with the foundation, this is without the foundation. So this is like my normal skin color and this is the foundation color. So we already know it's gonna be off. Overall, the foundation was okay, minus the color, of course, but it, like I said, it was a medium coverage and I could see that it's buildable for places that you have like major discoloration or hyperpigmentation, you would have to apply a lot more, but nonetheless, it was a good product. 
um, I still have it on. It's been several hours since I filmed this and it still looks pretty good. So shout out to the foundation. All right, so I look like I have a bad tan, but nonetheless, we're gonna keep on going because the power of makeup will allow us to hopefully lighten this up with the concealer and everything else. So we're gonna keep on going. So for concealer, back to Kos Kosas, and this is the Super Revealer, Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. This is in the color 7.5. This looked a whole lot darker in like on the website, but we're still gonna go for it because you know, this is trying new products. Ooh, I'm already scared. Play on my arm first. Okay, this is how it looks on my hand. Interesting. So because the foundation is so dark, I want to put like a you know a lot of the highlighter because I wanted to make it so that it will ultimately look like, um, hopefully that it's just um ideal um like the foundation will act as a bronzer as opposed to the actual you know the fact that it's so off so we're gonna put some here and we're gonna put some here oh. mm. all right now that we look like or we, I mean, we didn't make the cut for Wakanda movie, Black Panther. We're gonna keep it moving. Let's see, what is this? Ew, this is not what they wanted. Okay, take a beauty blender and just blend everything out. So overall, the concealer did blend quite lovely. It, um, I like that it was able to mask partially masked the color, the fact that the foundation was so dark and it I should say it helped that out so I was really appreciative but um the concealer kind of reminded me of Colourpop though <laughs> my goodness I didn't do my eyebrows for eyebrows I'm going to pull I'm going to go backwards a little bit and use the Rowan 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 that looks like that says that um brow pencil in it's a it says about val val brow and it is in the color dark and it says that it naturally defines and shapes your brows with naturally define and shape your brows with our val brow pencil it is an ultra it's ultra slim so you can feather fill and define with ease with major val factor Oh, it plays on the fact that the word is German. <laughs> Got it. Sorry. Early in the morning. Okay. Wrong end. You're going to see further along that I struggle with this eye pencil. So ultimately, I'm going to make the, the call to just dash it away. Mm -mm. Negative on this. This is about to make my brows look gray and dark. We are not using that. So, do my brows off camera, be right back. Now that I finished the eyebrows, my eyelids were bothering me so much, so I took some of the concealer and just placed it on top of my eyelids and blended it out. Eyebrows, like I said, off camera, because that color was just wrong. And look at it on my hand. It just looks ashy and it says it's deep. But I mean, this is like wrong. See, on here it looks like it, it could possibly work, but no, that was the wrong color. Um, let's see. All right, so now I'm gonna set it again. Well, I'm gonna set it using the Cover FX um, Matte Setting Powder in Deep. I'm gonna set this, is what I got going on here. And Apparently this is not for oily people because if you can if you notice like my forehead there's places that are like super oily but hopefully the cover FX will help it out 
Okay, so shout out to the star of the show. This is the Cover X FX Matte Setting Powder. I love this product out of everything else that I use from the clean lines. And um, it's it was ultra fine. It definitely um, matted an area. Now, I've had my makeup on for several hours, like I said previously, but I'm just not 100% sure how long it will stay matte. But All hey. right, so here is the um, look on side put the setting powder on I don't know why I can't think and I put the don't know if you notice but I put the foundation on my eyelids so it makes them look so much darker it's like um making me anxious if you will it's just like annoying to me I know my eyebrow my eyelash my eyelids are not that dark but anyway so I put a little bit of setting powder on it to hopefully balance it out um what is next in this routine? So I don't, I didn't pick up a blush, right? No. So there's no blush here. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlight. And for the highlighter, it's another thing by Cover FX. And it's the perfect light highlighting powder. Sorry, right. everything is so reflective. This is the color here. So the highlighter did not disappoint and when it came up came up to payoff and pigmentation a little bit went a long way I, did, I made the mistake of putting a lot more on the brush than it was supposed to be so that's why I had to blend pounce through some of that some pounce through pounce some of it off and that's what I'm doing here alright so this is what we have going on so far I feel like overall it came out okay from where it was looking when I first applied it. The foundation I'm talking about, it came out okay. You guys let me know what you think down in the description box. Um, and my hair go, my natural discoloration makes it look like I did have a bronzer on. But anyway, not bronzer, um, contour. Here we go. Um, okay, let's go on to our eyes. I feel like the eyes are the next step. So for the eyes, uh, picked up the Lawless um, eyeshadow palette called The Little One. Apparently there's a bigger one, but this is the travel size version of that. Oh, it has a mirror. So it comes with a mirror. Then the shadows, there are two, three, eight different colors. There's a, these right here. Of course, neutral. You know your girl. All right, so we're just gonna create some looks using this. We're going to first mute out our eyelid. We will do that with either this cover here called, I think it's called Bonfire. Let me see. It is called, this is so much. Yeah, called Bonfire. It's right here, let me see. No, that's not gonna be it. It's gonna be either the top one. So luster, and that says light metallic gold. These aren't even right. Okay, so let's see. Creamy matte white. So it's going this way. Okay. So this is called pony. Yes. We're going to use the color right here, Pony, just to mute out the eyelid. All right, so then we're gonna take Bonfire, that's this color here, and do that as our transition color using the same brush. take this color here smolder and that's gonna I'm gonna use that as my um outer V color you thought I was gonna use the black right Damn. all right so for the lid it's either going to be the uh, light metallic gold color called luster or the no that's not the color 
Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Luster or... Oh, this is called Bonfire. So, this is called Lush. Ha. Huh. So, it's either going to be Luster or Bonfire. One or two. Let's swash them on our hands first, though. This is, called, this is called Luster. And this one is Bonfire. So Luster and Bonfire. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Can I do one eye, one, one eye, the other? So I'm going to do Bonfire, which is this, not that. Bonfire on the lid and then do luster inner corner I feel like I always do colors like looks like this so first let me start off by apologizing for getting so discombobulated with the color the names of the colors but it didn't flow with the back of the palette like where they were it was opposite and it was just a whole big mess so I had to figure out what the colors could have been um overall I did like the palette is cute for like travel if you know that you're just going to be doing a bunch of neutral looks then this would definitely be the palette the go-to palette for on the go and but for me personally you know i already have these colors in you know most of my palettes so it's not something that i would norm normally pick up if that makes sense okay so before i add my the inner corner if, I even gonna, if i'm going to do it if i think i am i'm going to first um use some of the setting spray the setting spray that, uh, was, that we got was the Cover FX High Performing Setting Spray 24 Hour Wear, it says. Now, it came in this really cute set. So, you get the you know, regular size and the travel size. And um, instantly, it says, instantly set your look and make it last all day with this fast drying, alcohol free setting spray duo. Weightless, weightlessly keeps makeup in place and looking fresh while defending against environmental stressors for breathable 24-hour wear includes full size and travel size so, that's cute i feel like that made everything look look made me look oily which is not a good thing shout out to you if you made it this far but um i do apologize for all my fumbling over words and stuff like that I don't know what's going on today. I think because my head is hurting a lot more than it normally does. So that could be a reason. Well, what, for whatever reason, I'm just stumbling. But anyway, um, so after I did the inner corner, I used my gel liner that was not clean, but I wanted it under there. I used that. and um, But then, you know, I looked at it and realized I was still super oily. So I decided to take the setting powder and um, put another layer of it to go over that cover fx setting spray so for somebody that wants to be glowy that's amazing but not for me oh and here i decided to button my button finally okay so for mascara we are going to use the ilia limitless lash mascara it says buildable flake free and 90 percent natural and on the back it says a buildable and flake free mascara that lengthens lips and curls for more volume <laughs> luminous lashes our lightweight and nourishing formula is fortified with natural waxes that weightlessly conditions your lashes a dual side brush allows you to define or lift and separate lashes with precision and for whatever reason it's like uber small it's like the travel size it's so towards, it is thundering here just thought i should let you know so if you hear the noise, that's why. <laughs> I ended the voiceover on the last part real so abruptly. I was saying that I decided to button the top button for my sweater so that it would be close together. Okay. Um, the What I didn't like about this mascara, it's not for somebody who's in a rush. It took way long. Like they weren't kidding when they said buildable. It took too long for me to get nearly what the payoff that I wanted. At one point, I just was like, you know, forget it. I'm just going to go with what I have and just go from there. Okay. Lastly, <laughs> oh, it's going to be forever, right? Um, this is going to be the Bite 
Beauty for lips. We're going to use the Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty what? Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. And it is in the color Cognac. It says a bold matte color that, that can keep up with you. I didn't know this was going to be matte. Anyway. That's how it looks. I'm going to say since I had the lip oil on it, on my lips prior that made um, an issue, but I personally did not like this um, lip crayon. It wasn't matte, but I, again, I think it might just have been because of the lip oil that I had on because I did not um, block my lips at all. I also didn't like the color. The color, I just, I wasn't a fan. So this is definitely some, not something that I would purchase again. Um, that's all, I all right guys shout out to you you made it to the end thank you so much for watching tell me what are your thoughts of these products did you like them did you love them did you hate them how did you think the overall foundation came off came out with all the hiccups that i had going on let me know down in the description below and until my next video shout out to my babies mary martha charlotte my little prince i love you guys and i love you all thank you hello to all my new subscribers hopefully you are um not just interested in the giveaway and you're here for the long haul welcome to this uh this place of youtube space and we're all a family here be respectful to one another be safe remain healthy i love you guys love you all bye guys